Collecting air miles, travelers, points, a beginner's guide. Collecting air miles is one of the things I love most when it comes to travel. You get to experience the travel rewards of being loyal to a particular airline company. And it's also a fantastic way to feel that you can receive something in return. We're going to be looking today at some effective ways to build up your points when you travel with certain airlines or even spend money on your credit card. First, what you'll need to do is sign up with an airline loyalty program. Again, very easy as this can all be stored into a passport saver so you don't need to necessarily remember all your unique passwords and identification numbers. And when you join a loyalty program, you'll begin at the one of many levels, usually the lowest level as a beginner. You'll need to collect tier points as you want to progress up the ladder to eventually become a gold or a platinum member. So for example, when you move from blue to bronze with BA Executive Club, you're going to start earning more points per early flight booked and you'll find that your flight rewards get much better as you progress up the tiers. Let's take a close look here at Qatar Airways as an example. Now the One World Partner has one of the best loyalty programs in the airline industry. Their Privilege Club currently offers a sign-up bonus of 5,000 miles just for joining. There are other airlines which also offer generous sign-up bonuses. Have a look here at the full list. Qatar has also made their award flights much better value too. You can book a one-way business class flight from Doha to the Maldives for 85,000 miles. Whilst it used to be the case that you would be charged high taxes, the Privilege Club have now reduced the taxes you'll need to pay so that you can get even better value for your miles. So, once you've signed up for the loyalty program, you want to see how you can get the maximum rewards for the minimum spend. Now, a direct flight in business or first will usually give you the highest mile award points. But suppose you don't want to spend too much money, what can you do in this case? Well, supposing you're happy to split your journey up into several legs on the same flight with the same airline, you'll find that you get more points flying the same journey as if you just flown in a single one-way direct flight. That's because airlines understand that most people will pay more for the convenience of flying direct rather than have to go through multiple stops. But assuming that you are happy to spend several hours waiting in airports for connected flights, you can amass a much greater amount of miles when you fly with this same airline and you won't need to spend more money doing so. But if you aren't prepared to do all the waiting and you don't fly often enough to get massive mileage each year, there are other ways to get points. For example, one of the most common ways you can gain miles quickly is by signing up to a credit card such as American Express, British Airways, Platinum card. Provided you spend over a certain amount in the first few months of travel, you can qualify for a large number of points just by signing up for the car and getting 30,000 free points. Or if you're a shopper with Sainsbury's, you can transfer your Nectar points gained from the supermarket and then convert them to Avios. Although the value here of the next point when converted to Avios is somewhat low, you may find it worth your while if you place a higher value on spending in British Airways rather than in Sainsbury's. However, some mileage experts say you're often better off collecting miles this way as it's sometimes hard to see how many miles you can earn from certain flights. That's not necessarily the case though with BA, as when you sign the Executive Club with BA, you can see how many miles you will earn per booking anyway. But one of the major changes to the Executive Club has been the introduction of points based on your spend rather than the distance flown. If you look at our London, New York example, a higher priced ticket, business as opposed to economy or economy plus, will reward you double the flight's mileage. It's much harder then to receive good miles if you only travel economy light or economy plus or even economy premium all the time. So this then makes it much easier for somebody who's already a gold traveler to maintain that status over time because they only need a few strategically booked flights a year just to maintain that gold level tier. Having said that, this does still mean BA Executive Club is one of the most popular frequent flight programs out there. The one major downside I found with BA is the flights for flight redemption are very high, especially when you fly out of London. Now what that tends to be down to is that flights coming out of London are subject to much higher taxes than even flights booked from Paris or Amsterdam. That's why you really need to think carefully about how you redeem your points. Most programs have devalued their points quite a lot, partly in response to the lockdowns, which saw travelers sitting on huge amounts of unspent miles that they simply couldn't use. You need to be much more careful now. Other credit card company experts suggest that we simply stop trying to play the airline miles game because it's simply so arcane that only the experts really have any clue what's going on. 
What they say is sign up with a credit card with a preferred airline partner, and as long as you make the required spend in the first three months, you get a massive amount of points that you're simply free to spend as and when you like, all without sitting on a single flight to get them. So if you follow credit guru Ben Hedges on YouTube, you'll have access to some of the best credit card sign-up offers that aren't even on the credit card websites themselves. At higher secret offers that you may not know about. So there you have it, guys. That's a great way to receive points without taking a single flight, and you have a whole year to decide how to spend them. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you think about this video. As always, sign up. I'm happy to hear from you on Twitter, uh, on this YouTube video. Just say hi, let me know what you think, and uh, keep, keep tuning in, guys. Take care next time. Bye-bye.